It was a sight to see. I found a man sitting at the corner of River Road and Route 30 in Jamaica. Well, I, I, we have a place up in uh, 2608 Pikes Falls Road. And we, space, we say from May to September. We spent all our summers here. The water came down and uh, well, at our house, the telephone attachment came loose from the house first. Then all of a sudden, I went out to the road to start pulling that away. And all of a sudden, the, uh, I heard this cracking and the uh, transformer above the telephone cable and the whole pole went and started going. And I had a tractor, or not a tractor, a lawnmower uh, between the house and the, the trailer. And when it pulled the mast off the house, I'm standing in the road by, not too far from the pole and the brakes were on the uh, lawnmower and it pulled it about 60 feet and I thought it was going to go in the brook. <laughs> How did you get out of there? Okay, we, <laughs> this was fun. It was really nice. The guys uh, came around with ATVs and uh, my uh, th there was something like 15 or 20 people that we went up to the top of the hill behind our house. There's a road that goes up there, Metcalf Lane. And uh, we all went up there and they, they assembled and they brought us down by ATVs. And my wife was in a, a Honda uh, Jeep with a trailer behind. And when we got down, she says, it's not Disneyland. <laughs> it wasn't Disneyland because we were going two and a half miles to get down around in, in these old uh, trails and uh, logging trails. So we were going through stream beds and everything else. How long did it take to get down? Uh, about an hour uh, with them, the way that they, they, they know where they were going. Because we're staying with our friends here, uh, Denise and Freddie, uh, and, but they, they mostly had this, all this washed out and the mud here. And uh, this didn't get to hit too bad really down here. Well, we're supposed to go back on September 13th to, to, to California, but we'll stay here if we have to. In Jamaica Village, people were waiting for Governor Peter Shumlin to arrive. We will rebuild the houses. We'll, re we'll, we'll, re we'll rebuild the roads and the bridges, the fire stations, all the things we've lost. And we'll get it done remarkably quickly for Vermont. Well, I can't tell you how proud I am of all of you. So just a couple of quick facts uh, that you need to know. And then I just want to answer questions you might have. Uh, President Obama and his team have been extraordinary along with Senator Leahy, Senator Sanders, and Congressman Welch. They turned around our request for emergency aid in five hours in the White House. I don't think anything's happened that fast in Washington in the history of America. But the, the expectation is that he will grant us individual assistance. What that means is that anyone who's had damage to home or property that's a primary homeowner, doesn't apply to secondary homeowners, uh, that you will qualify for up to $30,400 worth of just outright cash that never has to be paid back. Second piece is you will also qualify for low interest mortgages up to 250,000 uh, bucks for folks that have bigger challenges uh, than 30,400 is gonna get you. In terms of businesses, we wanna get them up and running as quickly as we can. We've done two things. Uh, I've implemented a program. It's an immediate loan program for small businesses and large as well as farmers. If you need cash right now to get the cash register, new cash register to replace a cooler, to do whatever you need to do, uh, get feed to the cows, uh, we'll get you 20,000 bucks quickly if you call Vita. Second, uh, you will also qualify as a business owner for small business administration money. So loans, low interest, we can get that out the door to you. Finally, in terms of the extraordinary municipal workers that are here, town select board members, community members, uh, we have qualified for the public assistance. That means that for state highways, we'll get 100% uh, uh, grant from the state federal government. And for local municipal bridges and all the infrastructure that you're doing, it's a 75-25 match. The 25 is state and local, the 75 is federal. We split the state and local, 12 and a half, 12 and a half. So basically it's a 12 and a half percent match at the town level. The Three Mountain Inn served as the emergency operations center. This is our, what we're calling our little lunch wagon. We've had um, donations of food, sandwiches, uh, local restaurants, 
Um, some of it we've done ourselves, uh, driving around and feeding the construction crew, the volunteers that are road, flagging the roads and making sure the, the police officers that are here, making sure everybody's eating and getting hydrated. Uh, then that morning when everything happened, uh, we had people going around asking people to evacuate and it didn't take probably 15 minutes or half hour for that water street to just flood over and the house, four houses that disappeared into the water that washed away and uh, Pikes Falls Road, uh, West Jamaica Road. Then I met an old friend who had a horrifying tale to tell. At 8.30 Sunday morning, one of the selectmen, Lou Brusso, stopped and informed my wife and I that he was very concerned, or the town was concerned, about the uh, uh, how high the water was in the Ball Mountain stream that runs right across the street from my house. We were one of uh, many people evacuated around my neighborhood. So I'm also the town health officer and that made me part of the emergency response team and the select board chair asked me to man the caution tape at the bridge that leads right to my house to keep people off there and keep them safe. All through this storm there was a thundering sound of rocks rolling down the streams for that stream for at least seven hours. Uh, Wait, it just was an incredible sound you could feel in your feet. So the water got higher and higher, and I think the uh, I was busy trying to keep people off, but I periodically would see or hear pieces of houses uh, coming apart upstream. First their porches, and then they would hold on for quite a while. But what was very disturbing for me was I was trying to pull some people away from a house by the bridge who were taking pictures was when my immediate next door neighbor, Tracy Paines, huge maple tree just tipped over and went into the stream and it fell into the water you know a magnificent tree I don't know how old well over a hundred years old it came into the bridge and it didn't even slow it down it just stripped the limbs made a terrible cracking and debarking just a horrendous sound never slowed it down sent it out the other side and her house had a couple of uh, support posts on what was left of her porch went really loud and that was pretty much the beginning of the end. Brett's house went in first. I didn't see that. I saw the pieces go by but anything that was left when they hit the bridge they disintegrated. Uh, Sean O'Brien, the house right next door to me was his great-grandmother's house and we heard the getting all too familiar sound of you know, houses creaking and smashing and falling into the brook. And he said, I think that's Graham's house. And then we, we went down to the brook and watched what was left of that smash into the bridge. And just when it went out the other side, it was like they went through a shredder. But the most disturbing one was for me was her next door neighbor, Corinne Hardy's house, right after Sean's house went through. Her house just sort of lifted off the foundation and set in stream and floated towards us, listing this way and that, floating those. And then it was listing, coming closer and closer to us while Sean still had his camera out. And it bowed forward, roof up, coming at us. The roof line hit the bridge abutment, or the abutment of course, but the rail, a cement rail, and it exploded right in front of us. It just fell to pieces, insulation, shingles, trim coming onto the bridge. Look to the other side, it was just pieces. In the meantime, my house, 153, the land had been falling away all day. And uh, we, we had a lot of damage in the cellar. We're still dealing with mud, but we moved back in last night. And we're, our heart goes out to our neighbors, and, and here we are. We, we have power, water, hot water even even though everything's a mess down there. Lucky.